Hey guys, this is Hella Bella here. Just wanted to do a short video on the new Amazon FBA fees that are coming into play in February. Um, I have personally been affected by these. I heard a lot of complaints and a lot of worries, so I just wanted to address some of that. So uh, we're just going to go over seven points. I've got my little cheat sheet here. Um, I recently had to dispose of about 200 items, actually a few more than that, and you know it's 15 cents an item. Um, and then I, I also uh, counted it as a loss to my business and said that average item cost me a dollar each, so a $200 loss um, that I can write off for my taxes. But um, yeah, I'm sitting here in my room, no hairbrush, no, uh, I have had two cups of coffee, so I do feel, you know, compelled to make this. So we're going to go through it really quick. Apologize if I'm not at my, uh, my best right now. Um, so number one is that every item applies now. You do not have the uh, exemption of having, oh, I only have one item in stock, so I don't get charged. No, from now on, if it's been at the warehouse more than six months, you're going to get charged. And if it's been at the, at the warehouse more than a year, you're going to get charged more than that. So what Amazon is doing is they're trying to discourage people from sending in those long tail items. Um, they just don't have the shelf space for it anymore. Um, especially with the increase in people using Amazon FBA, why would Amazon want to keep items in their warehouse that are not making them any money? So my thinking is that by their logic, um, they are going to make money one way or another. They're just going to make money charging you fees. So uh, moving on to number two, uh, pay attention to sales rank. We're looking for items with a better turnover rate from now on. Uh, I'm going to be a lot pickier when sourcing. Um, I'm going to be looking for a sales rank 2 million and under, and I'm going to also look for, um, you know, I'm going to try to source books on uh, eBay, source books using um, Keepa. Um, I made a video previously about how I've been buying books from merchants and reselling on Amazon FBA, so I'm going to look more into that in the future. Um, so number three is just talking about my revenue. My revenue is 95% books. So I'm not going to go out of the book business just because we have some fee increases. That's ridiculous. Um, people complaining about this are whiners and bitching and complaining about something is not going to change it. So what you have to do is you have to learn to adapt. Um, business changes, laws change, you know, there's always going to be something trying to uh, put you out of business. But for me, honestly, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks, but it's not going to ruin me. Um, so moving on to number four, um, the closing fee is going from $1.35 to $1.80. So we are seeing a 45% or a 45 cent increase in that fee. So um, just to give you some perspective, if you sell 300 items, uh, last month I sold a little over 300, but if you sell 300 items, that's $135 more in fees that you're going to wind up paying at that 45 cent increase. So something to keep in mind. Um, and that brings me on to point number five is to raise your price floor. So my price floor, I've been telling people, is around $7.99. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to raise that. And it's going to look more like $10 to $12 from now on. Which also sucks because it means that I'm going to have to be more picky when I'm out scanning and sourcing. You know, um, it's just the way it is. So uh, number six is um, just talking about my last payout. So my last check, check. Um, was uh, $1,772 and I was really proud of that um, because I've never had a traditional job and to be able to make that kind of money working for myself you know creating my own job my own business is a great opportunity to me and I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna complain about Amazon's fees I'm just gonna adapt to them and keep keep working on my business so I'm really thankful to have this freedom to start my day at home get on the computer you know send out some books, go drop off a shipment, you know, I can go to the gym when I want to go, I can hang out with my friends, I can go on vacation, I can leave town. It's just nice to be able to have this kind of freedom. And in the future, I'll, I'm also going to be taking some more sourcing trips. Um, I would really like to do like a 30-day trip where I just go um, to several different states and spend the night and source and maybe I could find some uh, other flippers to hang out with and you know, ideally, it would be great to have a place to stay, um, just to go and source a different town. Um, and another thing I want to be able to do is to um, to leave the country this year. Um, I'm probably going to wind up going to either Italy or Australia at some point this year. Um, so number seven is 
the name of the game is to keep feeding the beast. So as long as we keep doing that, I think we'll keep making money. Um, ultimately, it just means we're going to have to be more picky, um, unfortunately. But, you know, this is this is not the end of the world, guys. I don't want you guys to see this as your reason to not start doing FBA or a reason to quit FBA. This is not that. Um, you know, if I was getting out of the game, I would tell you, but I'm, you know, I'm just starting this full time, so I'm not I'm not about to let this stop me. So, um, if you like the video, comment, or if you have more questions about the new fees, let me know. Um, I would be happy to hear your, uh, your perspective. Um, so, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.